In this lecture, we'll learn how to do some basic math on rows and columns. So let's get back to our sign function. A quick notice, I've saved it as math. I've attached the Excel to the previous lecture and also attached it as a resource to this lecture so you can get it. So if you also come to analysis and then mathematics, you can do some basic math like just for instance let's choose simple column math and and choose a column so let's choose this column and maybe column a and you can do let's say let's add a number you can add a reference data so let's say we'll do another one maybe we'll add column B to column A but let's just start with constant and choose 10 and let's choose our output to be E so let's choose our output to go to E and hit OK so there you go you have you, we added 10 so it says add 10 on A so you just added 10 to column A and you can come back change parameters instead of a constant we can do reference data and you can choose a reference data so if you want to add let's say two columns you can choose b and choose your output and you've added these two together so that is something cool to also note you can come in and change so they have some built-in functions and you can also customize if you want and write in your formula over here so that is something interesting to note you can also do same for rows and if for some reason let's say let me come back and let's choose this so if you go to columns so under columns if this one is selected as B but if you want to select just a portion of your column maybe a range you can select maybe the entire column is 1 to 50 but you can select maybe 1 to 10 and it will keep that range and hit OK and let's hit OK and it changes for you so that is something to note you can also come back to analysis and move to mathematics and you can also do for instance you can normalize a column so let's come to open dialog and let's choose let's choose a okay to make it easy let's just come in and type one two and then three okay so we want to normalize this so let's come to analysis and mathematics we'll come to normalize columns so we are going to choose column g to normalize and choose g okay so in g what you can do is you want to normalize from 0 to 1 so that is it you can also change how you want to normalize it maybe you want to divide by max you want to normalize it anyway it depends on what you need for your analysis and let's choose the new output to be H and there you go so this is what it does it's, it has normalized from 0 to 1 so it has chosen the highest as one and chosen the least as zero and the intermediate as half so that is also a nice tool to have and to work with your data and you can come in and play with some of these things on simple math as well also note that you can always come to column and come to K 
okay you can always choose a column and then come to set column values and you can also always do your math in here there are inbuilt functions for you as we've shown previously so this was to show that you can do so many things with your columns 